This conference will now be recorded. Yes, any questions, guys? Anyone, any questions before I get started? Any questions with YAML that we are discussing yesterday? Anyone, any questions, guys, that I can take? Okay, uh, let's move forward then. If there are no questions again, uh, again, guys, YAML is very, very, very important. Uh, these days, a lot of companies are moving towards pipeline as a code uh, using, let's say, YAML out there. And very less companies are preferring to use the classic mode of, let's say, creating your uh, pipelines. So I would highly recommend you all to go towards YAML, understand the YAML syntax out there, and try it out. And let me know if you have any questions there out there as such. Thanks, sir. Uh, good, please. Uh, when we are doing classic editor, we are uh, giving like uh, some variable groups and also pipeline variables. No? So we can quickly mm -hmm. work mm -hmm. how it will be how it will be done in YAML. So. Uh, is in a combination of variable group yes you can give a variable group and also the uh let's say your piping variables out there so let's go ahead and let's look at that very really real quick so if i move into my pipeline here's my pipeline let's go there okay This is a classic. Where's my YAML file? Let's see. Not this one. Found a lot of testing out here. So let's see. Yeah, build pipeline. This one, I believe. Yes. All right, finally. So let's see. Uh, in a release, let's say I'll collapse this particular stage. And in a release, I went ahead and let's say uh, told that the variable group is something like this so this is the variable group and after that i can say the name of a variable is let's say something like web app and i can just go ahead and say the value is something like test so you can give name value pairs along with your group but you cannot adjust the scope and all that stuff. You cannot do that scoping and all these things out here. Uh, reason being, this is not a classic. It comes with a YAML approach. It comes, let's say, with the YAML approach out here. So yes, but you can pass your pipeline variables. All these are pipeline variables out here. Also, you can declare those variables out here. You can give all your variables out here as such. Uh, does that answer your question? Yes, no. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, any more questions out here? And I remember someone asking me about how to check out a different Git repository and I was explaining something, but it turns out that the syntax is slightly different. So just go through this particular article on how do you clone different repositories in YAML. I've also given the documentation link to this one and explained it out in a very, very brief way on how do you go ahead and create all these things out. So let's go ahead and I'll just share this out with you all. Just look at this and let me know if you have any questions out here. And also please look at the documentation link that's at the end. So if you click on this, it goes into multiple Git repository checkouts and it'll also tell you how, to, how do you go ahead and check out a repository. What is the syntax of checking it out and all that stuff. All right, so let's come back and let's move today into something called as Terraforms. One of the crucial uh, topics or one of, let's say, uh, the very hot topics that is out there in the market, along with something like Kubernetes and all these things out, wherein Terraform is now, let's say, becoming one of the key elements that is there in any job description and anyone who's, who's let's say let's say working on devops on the devops engineering side of things is expected to have a knowledge on terraform out here so before i get started did anyone hear about terraforms 
and if yes what is your understanding of what terraforms out here did anyone come across this pretty term called terraform yes no maybe guys did you all get my question yes i think it's used for configuration purpose and also configuration maintenance. purpose no, maintenance configuration so again uh, terraform is on the same lines of how an arm template is it's a declarative syntax declarative syntaxing uh, you can go ahead and maintain the configuration of your resources and create this out but the biggest advantage of going for a terraform and not an arm is arm template is microsoft specific and arm template follows a syntax called json serialization makes it a little difficult to follow because as a human being it's it's difficult for me to go ahead and write a serialization syntax out here so json becomes a little difficult to follow and also arm templates are only used for a cloud called microsoft out here wherein terraform changes this area terraform says that you know what you can deploy me on anything you can do azure or you can do aws or you can do gcp you can go and deploy me on let's say any kind of a cloud environment that you do have and it is not json it is not a serialization terraforms follow its own model called hcl hashicorp configuration language follows this particular syntax called a hcl out here it's a hashicorp configuration language that basically terraforms comes with comes along with and we'll see how to write terraforms and you know what to do with terraforms and all these things out here as such so terraform is developed by a company called hashicorp it's, a, it's completely third party supported by azure uh, if you look at let's say azure portal today and say create a resource group or create let's say a storage account in azure it gives you multiple options and let's see templates allowed the templates and all the stuff are a part of it let's see uh, this is let's scroll down this is template bicep and all these things you create a resource group using terraform okay fine uh, we can go through the terraform documentation as well i saw somewhere called terraforms as well in microsoft documentations too but yes i'll revert back to that but yes here hashicorp is let's say this particular company which went and you know, let's say developed terraforms out here and believe me they got like great amount of documentation for terraforms it's very easy to follow very easy to understand and it's very easy to provision out here so we'll talk about that and how to provision and all these things out again in order to write a terraform you need an editor i'll again come back to vs code so if you're using a vs code just click on the extensions and say terraforms the terraform and you will have to install a couple of things like azure terraform and all these things so let's do that but before doing the installation what i would say is that you would need a couple of things out here to get started with terraforms the very first thing is that you'll have to install and configure terraform okay, unlike arm templates unlike json which is pre ready madely available in your system terraform will not be so you'll have to first do an installation of terraform to do the installation just go to google and say download terraforms it says download terraform by hashicorp it tells you it supports from mac os linux free uh, let's say free based os so let's say and a lot of things out here and here it's in terraform 
I'll say AMD 64 because it's a 64 bit operating system that I'm using and it just goes ahead downloads a zip file for me. So let me open this out in a folder. Okay, come on, open this out and let's say the download folder out here. And I'll just go ahead and extract this out. Simple exe file. It's called Terraform exe. And just shut this down. I'll just copy this out. Go into one of my C drives. Let's say a new folder. New and say folder. I'll say this is Terraforms. And paste it out here. So in the C drive, I'm I am just going ahead, copying what I got into my download section. I can delete this out here right now. So I am just going ahead, downloading something known as Terraforms, making it available. That's it. I went ahead and made it available. In my C drive, I have my Terraform right now. This is the Terraform exe file that I do have right now. The very first thing is installing the Terraform. And the second thing is configuring the Terraform. Now for your system to understand Terraform, your system should talk to, or your system should understand the language of Terraform out here. For which, just go to search, just say, edit environment variables. In here, you would have something called uh, use variables for something, use system variables and etc. Just go to system variables, click on path, and I'll say, okay, Okay, let's see, edit this variable. Okay, it's not allowing me to do that, let's see. Fine. Let's say new, and just give this path out here where you have downloaded Terraforms. And then do a forward slash and say, okay. Okay, let's see, edit. Okay, it's not allowing me to edit the system variable for more reason. I think this is good enough, that's fine. Okay, I'll say okay. So I went ahead and now gave something known as an environment variable in my system. Let's see, edit environment variables. Into my system, and this is where I have environment variables, and this is where I have path and i have path here so make sure to you know, just place terraforms in both in let's say both the paths out here i'll say new i'll put that particular folder name and i'll say okay i'll say okay out here so i am able to now place my environment variables or i am now able to edit my environment variables and i've given or i declared the folder where terraforms is actually sitting in this is the configuration of Terraform. So installing and configuring Terraform. So installing is nothing but just downloading the Terraform out there. Configuring uh, here is nothing but just go to the environment variable and say where the path of Terraform is. And finally, download something called as an Azure CLI, command line interface. Let's go back into Google and say Azure CLI download. This is now going to give me the documentation on how to install Azure CLI on a Windows laptop. Just scroll down. You have something called as the latest version. Just click on this one. And this will go ahead and download the extension for something called as an Azure CLI out here. So this will download the MSI installer. And once it downloads, I will just go ahead and install something known as an Azure CLI in my system. And once this is done, let's see how we can use something known as Terraforms along with the combination of CLI and how do you, you know, go ahead and configure this, how do you use Terraforms and all that stuff. So let's wait for a second. And yes, the Azure CLI MSI is installed. I'll just double click on this one. I'll say it's computing the space and all these things out. And once it's done, let's start with the installation out here. So again, it's a very simple installation. Uh, it'll just go ahead, ask you where do you want to install the tool? And once you tell it where do you want to install it, it'll just tell, okay, fine, I'm good with that. I'll install this out and all that stuff, which take, is taking some time to go ahead and let's say, look at the installation. So yes, cancel this out and say finish. Let's reopen the install, installer once again. 
and let me allow this to go ahead and let's say do its own thing let me give it like a minute or two and once this is done we'll also talk about what do you get with the cli setup and all that stuff out there yes any questions still here anyone any questions still here that i can take so a couple of things you will need to download terraforms and after downloading terraform you will need to configure terraform by going into something called environment variables and putting a path for terraform out here after that you need to download the azure cli and install this out so let me go here so, you know, okay, for some odd reason this is really behaving odd right now let me reopen this up once again and let me wait for it so yes so as i was telling you will need the CLI, you will need the, let's say, the I mean, you'll need the Terraform to be downloaded and installed, configured, and you'll also need the CLI. And once the CLI is installed, you can go ahead into something called as a VS Code, and then install something called as a Terraform extension. So you'll have to do all these things out here. And it's not telling, please wait, this is installing, it's doing migrating features from related applications. So let's wait for a minute uh, to see what it does. And let's get started with the installation out here. So yes, I accept the terms and conditions finally. Let's install this out. So let's wait for this to be installed and let's see what we get out here as such. Yes, any questions still here? Anyone, any questions still here? Mm -hmm. Good, please. If we uh, if we have got a Terraform means uh, you know we don't have to write in JSON files. Depends. It I mean I had uh, clients who are working both on a combination of Terraform and JSON also, and we have clients today who are only working on Terraform. So it depends on what is the requirement that you are working on, but it's good to have both the knowledge out there as such. Yes, any more questions, guys? For some odd reason, this is taking a lot of time to install. Shouldn't really take so much of time, but let's see what it does right now. Again, uh, once you install CLI and once you install Terraforms and all these things out, uh, let's see how do you get started with, let's say, the setup and all that stuff but i might have to restart the system but i don't want to do that right now so i have a virtual machine in the back in the standby so in case uh, the cli doesn't work here i'll also go ahead and install do the same installation on the virtual machine and we can get started there as well as such so let's wait for this to go ahead and install and uh, parallelly you can come down and search for terraforms inside your vs code and install the extension for terraform by someone known as HashiCorp. So install this out. And then you have something called Azure Terraform by Microsoft. Install this out too as such. So two things that I've installed, uh, one being, let's say, HashiCorp Terraform by a company called as HashiCorp out here, and then installing the Microsoft Terraform out here as such. And once this is done, let me go ahead and get started with something known as Terraform out here. Again, the installation is pretty quick uh, for the extensions. It's a simple installation out here. And once this is done, you can go ahead and get started with Terraform out there. Also, very importantly, it's good to know the documentations out here. Let's say Azure Terraform, just go there. And Microsoft also has a great documentation on what are the benefits of, let's say, Terraform and all these things. So it's telling what is Terraform? How do you, let's say, go ahead use Terraforms and everything? So let me come here, send documentation across to you all on how to go ahead and let's say install the Terraform, what do you do with the Terraform and all these things out. And also, if you go into the HashiCorp documentation, there is something called as registry.terraform.io wherein HashiCorp 
which is the company that goes ahead and let's say creates all these Terraform templates has a lot of things out here on the offer for you and in the left hand corner they'll give you all the resources that can be provisioned and that can be let's say created using terraforms out here so this is what we are going to do and we'll also understand what is the method in order to deploy terraforms and all these things out so let's wait for this to done will be done by that time let me perform the same thing on my virtual machine also because i have a feeling that i might have to restart my local system and then only the terraform will you know kind of work so let me go ahead and do the same thing so the very first step say terraform download and download the terraform out here so this is something the very first step out here that we are going to do and once this is downloaded uh, keep the file in one of your folders and set the system variable out here so let's go to download extract this out i'll extract it and save the exe file in one of the folders that i do have like let's say c i can give any folder name but since it's terraform i'm telling it is terraforms out here and once this is done just copy the path where terraforms is there just go to edit system environment variables let's say environment variables just go to path say a new path put the path in here with a forward slash and say a path here and also put a path here as such i'll say okay i'll say okay and once this is done go and download something known as azure cli let's say download just go to the msi installer latest version just install this out Let's see uh, where my system is right now. So yes, it's still updating all these things out. It's taking some time. I'll figure out why it's taking so much of time out there. Right, so it's just going ahead and installing the CLI. And once the CLI is installed, or when the CLI is being installed, you can go to your, let's say, VS Code, and say Terraform, just search for Terraform out here. Install Terraform extension by HashiCorp, and also the Microsoft Terraform extension out there. This will kind of help you get started with the entire Terraform. And let's give it a minute to install this out. Again, if you see it's a big amount of software, it's taking some time to get installed. It should have actually uh, gone through by now. It's in the backup files and all that stuff. So let's wait for a minute. And finally, I have this installed out here. So I have the CLI installed. I have my Terraforms installed and just to make sure that the CLI is actually working Just go to a PowerShell or a command prompt Just say az hyphen hyphen help And see whether the CLI is responding back to you and in my case it looks like it's responding when it is telling okay fine uh, What kind of a command it has and all that stuff So I have my CLI getting responded back to me as such out there Yes, any questions still here with with the installation part of it and how do you install how do you configure and all these things out all right so it does take some time to go ahead and install this out and configure it and once you are done with that just come down to your vs code open a new folder let's say terraform class one I'm now into let's say the terraforms out here and in here the very first file that I write in terraform is called as a main file and say it is main dot pf if stands for dot terraform files out here as such I'm telling main dot tf and in this main dot tf the very first thing that I'll start writing is called as a provider block and provider block is just used to mention which cloud provider that i'm deploying my terraform template on where am i deploying the terraform template on so in order to make sure to give this 
I'll say control press space. It will load everything that is let's say there in Terraform that you can you know go ahead and do. And I'll say something known as provider. And in the provider, it's now giving me the syntax. And I'll say the provider or the cloud that I want to deploy this on is Azure RM. I'll say this is Azure RM. And here inside these brackets, I'll again do a control plus space and put in something called as a features block. This is the entire block that I'm putting again. If you go back to something known as a documentation, it says use provider and in here it will tell you how do you go ahead and use a provider. So firstly provider Azure RM and then something known as a features block out here. So something known as a features block out here as such. Then save this file. So this is the first feature block and again Terraform supports commenting. So I can put a comment out here telling that this is a provider block. Just mentioning which cloud provider that I can deploy the template on. So cloud provider where I'm provisioning this template on. In my case, I'm saying this is Azure RM out here as such. Now let's say that I would want to start with the very smallest object that I can create in Terraform, which is let's say a resource group creation. In the ARM template, we created all the resources inside a resource block. Same thing applies to let's say Terraform. I'll say control space. I'll say I want to create a resource and as and when I do that it's now telling me okay fine what kind of a resource you want to create and it's telling there are multiple resources that I do have in this one and I will tell I want to create something called as a resource group so I'll say Azure RM it starts with Azure RM underscore resource underscore group this is called resource group out here again if you're not comfortable with this just go back to the Terraform documentation say resource underscore group and here it will give you the example telling okay let me collapse this it'll give you the example telling how do you create a resource group in Terraform out here.